That's the auto park. So you have to get within about three feet of this of the parking spaces. Okay. And you did that without us letting you know. So we're gonna go ahead and, and incorporate. Just press the button. Come on, press it. There you go. Uh, you press it twice. So press it one more time. Okay. So basically, the first uh, button you're gonna look at here is is how you're gonna park. Yeah. Per parallel parking or perpendicular parking. So okay. we know it's perpendicular and these gills have found some spaces or they're looking. Now, typically we have to be about three feet from those. You're slightly off of those. So just so release closer. the brake and get a little closer. And when the triangle gets on the top, that's good. It's gonna find a spot for you. It's just, there you go. So it found two of them. It's gonna defer to this one if not. It'll always defer to that. Uh, press the start button and keep your foot on the brake. There's the start button. Okay. Now release the brake and remove your hands from the wheel. So it's going to turn the blinker on, letting anybody know behind us that we're parking on the right hand side. And it's using sensors in the wheel wells to find those lines. <clears throat> and we'll put it in reverse by itself. And then when it completes its process of parking, it will, it will put it in park by itself as well. So wild. Isn't it crazy? It's one thing to watch the steering wheel move, but when you can watch the foot pedals move, that's another one. Oh, yeah, I wasn't even looking at that. <laughs> so, cool.